Welcome back to the Bar Room Blitz. We're going to finish up tonight's show with one of our most popular segments. We're bringing in our special guest, Johnny Vegas, all Gen the way. Gentlemen, it's, it's excellent to be back. Vegas. It's, I know it's only week six. Thanks. We have cost you guys some money. We'd like to welcome him back. He's got our pro picks of the week. He was hot last year. I mean, hot. We was, he was well above 500. I think he was putting him off in an 80, 70% uh, clip last year. I forget it was. I think it was like it was, it was like, like 70, 75 or 76 percent. It, it was. Right. He was winning at an unbelievable rate. And the nasty one we had to cut loose because he was a little oh, suspect. <laughs> well, suspect. Spider never liked him. I want him. a retainer. I want my retainer. I want my retainer. How much money you got on you? Uh, what do you got here, baby? What <laughs> all right, what's all right guys. Well, uh. Last weekend, we did go 4-for-4. Four four. We took both New York teams, the Jets and the Giants. Okay, this uh, occurred yesterday, if you're looking at the show now. The St. Louis Rams plus 5, which at first seemed like a sucker bet, turned out not to be. And the Green Bay Packers on Sunday night that were showed plus 3 up, and a half, showed up. Can big. I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you think the Giants were a good pick with like 6 and a half? Like, on, like plus honestly. Plus a field goal. Or, I'm sorry, plus the touchdown. It was, it, it, I saw 6 and a half, seven, but seven. yeah, you really I mean going into it, I just. Actually, as a Giant, I didn't think that would do. What did you see? You that just you told me they're the best team in the league, and you wouldn't take the Giants because they won. That's all. No, I, I, I see what Spider's saying. Because it was rainy, and, yeah. and so I did. Well, eighty-seven like, percent of the public money was on the San Francisco 49ers. Well, there you go, go against the public. Yep. There you go. That's go against right. the public. Right. Money. I need. Uh, yeah, just, I like standard rule. I would and like, like rule. Uh, the, the Giants are an excellent team. All right, give us their picks. Give us their. Okay, give it. Uh, we're gonna start off. Uh oh. And it's not a homer pick at all. Don't be fooled. The Dallas Cowboys minus one at Carolina. Look for the Cowboys to bounce back hard uh, after the Ravens game. They n first of all, they over. never can bounce back. Hard. And like the over. Well, uh, you know, they could have they could have beat the Ravens and they didn't. So look for them to come out. Uh, Carolina's coming off the bye week. Look for them to be a little hesitant at first. Uh, Killer Cam yeah. still in his sophomore slump. I don't think you're right. Uh, Dallas like is Jay Ratliff. The nose guard's back. The defense is healthy. Claiborne looks like he's going to play. Uh, take Dallas hard. Good All pick. Right. That's, That's a five-star pick. pick. That's, I like that pick. Five-star. Uh, New Orleans Saints are minus three at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay just had a blowout game and looked, quote-unquote, really, really good. Uh, but they didn't play the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are coming into town, and that's the second away team we're taking. That's a favorite. Take the New Orleans Saints minus the two and a half or a field goal at Tampa Bay. Uh, the third favorite and away game that we're going to take, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. wow. We are living on the road. Pittsburgh Steelers uh, minus two and a half at Cincinnati. Last year, Pittsburgh was 2-0 and oh against Cincinnati. But Andy Dalton and the Bengals gave them a run one game, and it was very close. Look for Pittsburgh to come out and make a statement in a division that has some separation in it. It's not like the NFC East where you got three teams. And Pittsburgh together. really needs a win. They need a win. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they really need. They need to. Win. When they have a little rest, they have ten days off. Now, <laughs> but in the Thursday night game, I mean, which they, I hate, it's a good but point. they need they a big win. They need. Game. They need that win. Yeah. All right. Really got, any more? Any more? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm looking to cash in this week. I got to make up some loss. Christmas time's coming. I got baby. you, buddy. I'm going to give you tonight's pick just for proof, guys. We're going to go just under for 49 fun. and a half. Uh, the Denver Broncos are at the San Diego Chargers. Look for both teams to cool off. Both defenses are weak, but both offenses are struggling a little bit. Uh, look for Peyton to take his time, audible like he does. Look for Rillers, excuse me, Rivers to throw a lot of incomplete passes. The running game ain't too strong. We're going to go under 49 and a half, and that's a three to four star pick. All right. Uh, the upset alert that I know Jimmy sees. Oh, that the I upset. Do, that's I where I live and die. I got to give him to you. Uh, this isn't something I'm real strong on, but after looking at the upsets, we're going to go three stars. We're going to take the Detroit Lions plus the seven at the Chicago Bears, who are nope. coming off the bye. Can't like and it. And it, it seems like a sucker bet because it's telling you the line screaming, take Chicago. You know, take right. Chicago. The average better really is going to take Detroit, and the average better is going to get lucky. Nope. Detroit is going to cover the seven and possibly He's upset the Chicago the Bears year, at Chicago. Big. We like won a lot of money on the upsets. I don't like it right here. All right. Well, <laughs> I like a lot of his picks, though. I mean, oh, all right. Well, let's I, see how we do. Let's get it started. We'll get rolling for obviously week seven. We'll get it started. Thanks a lot, Johnny Thank Vegas. Thank you guys for having me. We will me. see you next week, and we'll be back next week with some more Barroom Blitz and some more Bud Lights. See you next week. Thanks, guys.